Big game tonight. Huge game tonight. Huge <laughs> game. Go Eagles. Go Birds. Go Birds. All right, so this is Media Day. Gosh, what? It's number four. Four? Oh, my gosh. All right, like scale one to ten. You can say like two. How much do you enjoy this? It's uh has its pros and cons. I'll say. <laughs> Tim said immediate zero. Tim? He asked cool. if he could give negative numbers. <laughs> Jesus, Tim. <laughs> Somebody said 10, though. Yeah. De- that was Boban, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> he lo- loves everything. He loves everything. Um, <laughs> I'll say, I'll give it like a six or seven. It's not bad. It's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah. He's always fun to talk to. Just rolling with <laughs> I try to be. I try to be personable. Yeah. Uh, what's the difference between rookie year and now coming into year four for you? Um... I guess the only difference is I'm just more experienced. Um, same mindset, same everything else, really. It's uh, nothing too different, just besides the fact that I've been through this a couple of times now. So, You look how the playoffs ended, that Clippers series. You obviously didn't play as much as what you would want to. Right. Um, what is – how did that fuel – did it do anything this off season? And, like, what – what do you think is the, the next level you have to get to when a series like that happens again? You're like, I'm on the floor all the time. Yeah. Um, just being able to control what I control first and foremost. Um, even if I was out there for not as much as I wanted to, I got to still be able to do the things that I know I can do. Mm-hmm. So, um, like I said, the coaching is one of the hardest jobs in the world. So, he has to make decisions on the fly. So, I mean, there's, there's no bad blood or anything. I just have to be better. It's nothing I have to be better. I got to be the person who I am, the player I am. And um, that's what I can control. So um, it was on my mind all summer. I thought about it all the whole time. I could even watch the rest of the playoffs. Um, yeah, that's just. I know Trey, Trey said that he's like, man, we just, think, I just thought, think about it. like, we were so close. If we just got past that series, yeah, you have to say, like, if what, we got past the series, I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> we can. There's no reason why you can't. No, yeah. yeah. No reason why you can't think like that. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people have talked about the Mavs need a secondary creator. They need somebody to come in and they'll get a bucket. Cubans right. even mentioned getting a secondary creator. Right. What, what do you think you have to do to potentially like fill that role? Um, first is be myself. Um, just because um, uh, people say things like that. Um, I mean, obviously, I see it. Like, it's kind of impossible not to see things nowadays. Um, everything gets reposted a thousand times. <laughs> Um, but I mean, just be myself, be myself, be the player that helped me get here and be the player that's, I've been, I've been taking steps every year, becoming better and better every year. And, um, just, it's, it's not like, it's not disrespectful. It's just, it's what, what he wants. He's the owner. He won't, he can do every, whatever he wants. But for me, I just, just keep finding ways to get better and keep finding ways to just be yourself, just be yourself. And, um. Yeah, that's really it, pretty much it. Yeah. So you've played for Rick your entire first three years of your career. Right. The shift to Jason Kidd, what, how do you think that will be different now? Um, it would be very interesting. I don't know yet. Mm. I don't know. Um, Coach uh, Coach Kidd's going to be great for us, I think. I think he um, – I guess he brings just something different, something different. And um, – I think we're just gonna have to adjust to how different it is, but I think it's gonna be for the be for the better. Obviously, like you said, I played for Rick for my first three years, and um, I mean, he gave me an opportunity. He let me be the player I was. Um, he uh, gave me confidence, like so. Um, I gotta thank him for that. But um, I'm just, I think it's gonna be interesting change. And, um, I'm really excited for it, and I think it's gonna be gonna be real fun, and um, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. What would you consider a successful season this year? The end the season ends, you go, that was successful. What does that look like? I mean, the championship. Mm-hmm. I think we got past the point of getting to playoffs and being happy, especially after last year. That was just, we let one slip. I let one slip. So, mm. When you think about past Mavs, current Mavs, if I say, hey, Jalen, could you form an all-time Mavs starting five? Who would be in that? My favorite player, Steve Nash. Okay. At the one, um, Dirk at the four. I mean, Luca's obviously 
a, a creator, but I'm gonna just put him at the. I'll say the two right now. Play anywhere. <laughs> Play anywhere. Yeah. Put him at the five. Um, <laughs> um, Luca locking down the paint. <laughs> Tyson Chandler at the five. Okay, that's a good one. Who's your Who's Wait. your three or two? Finley, Rolando Blackman, Mark Aguirre. I think Willie said Peja. Peja, yeah. Peja's a good one. Karan Butler, somebody said. Didn't Trey Burke say that? Moses put Tim on there. Yeah. Tim's not there yet for me. <laughs> Tim, Tim was hyped. Tim you, said he wasn't there. Tim was like, I'm going to take Moses. Tell, Tim, you're not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, he can be, though. Jeez. Um, I need one more, right? Who did I say? I said Steve, Steve Nash, Luca, Luca and Dirk, and Tyson. So Finn? Yeah, yeah Finn. I think Finn, Finn yeah. 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 I think Finn. No, Did Jason Kidd. You heard it here. Yeah, right here. <laughs> What's his favorite player? Steve Nash, my favorite player. <laughs> 13, Steve Nash. <laughs> uh, Luke is good at a bunch of stuff, obviously. You know, basketball, video games, pickleball in the bubble. We heard stories about. What's something Luca's bad at? English. <laughs> English. It's incredible. <laughs> so, you, you know, like, I'll never forget this. I always say this. Luca. Like, you know when, like, something, ha- like, his response, you know, someone says, oh, that doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, hand in his face, like, shot. He's like, oh, that doesn't yeah. doesn't matter. He would he would just say, ain't no matter. I'm like, <laughs> so, he used to say it all the time. And, like, now I say it. I say it to, like, mock him, but I don't think he understands that I'm mocking him. Yeah. The, yeah. He's like, oh, that's my catchphrase now. <laughs> yeah. Um, ain't no matter. What is he bad at? Uh, he said singing. Singing? Yeah. He said he's bad at but singing. But Dwight Powell said he was good at singing. No. <laughs> no, Dwight was full Luke, of crap. Luke was, Dwight was. Luca is Dwight was definitely full of crap. Um, <laughs> Luca can't sing. I think his accent makes it bad. Mm. Um, Dancing fashion. So. You keep bringing that up, but you bought his shoes. So, so, uh, I, I would say he's shoes. bad at fashion. I think <laughs> obviously like, European style is different, so I'm not gonna. Mm. And also, I'm not gonna say like, I have the best fashion. I'm not gonna say that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, just English probably is number one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's end on some, some rapid-fire questions. Question I've asked everybody. You're fighting hand-to-hand combat, no weapons. You have to fight one Boban-sized squirrel or Jesus. 100 squirrel-sized little Bobons. 100 squirrel-sized little Bobons. <laughs> I'm punting Boban, <laughs> all 100 of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, if someone came to you and said, hey, Jalen, I'm going to take somebody on a first date, what would be your ideal first date, like dating advice to them? First date advice. Hmm. We've gotten a very wide, wide range, range of questions on this. <sighs> or answers. For, first date. Trey Burke told us, Although, yeah. don't go for the home run. <laughs> we, went, we went all the way from <laughs> Jesus. Punt, punt. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, don't go for the home Willie run. Willie was like, man, we'll go on a walk around the lake, you know, take a milkshake. And um, First date. I haven't been on a first date in a long time. <laughs> um, first date advice. Um, I'm stumped. I'm placed like a best not, place to take somebody. I would, uh, no, I would say first date advice. The first date doesn't go well. It's okay. Okay. You can overcome okay. it. You can overcome. Is this you personal can overcome experience? It. This is personal experience. Okay. I, no, I wouldn't say mine didn't go well. It was just super <laughs> awkward. Mm. Okay. It was super awkward. It was cold, so we're le- so we're going back to back to the car, leaving the restaurant, and. I go to hold her hand. And I guess she didn't see it. She just put her hands in like 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 this. Ooh, you know, and she so I'm like, oh, okay. She was cold though, and you thought it was. And she wasn't cold. <laughs> well, was she cold. Wasn't cold. something was cold. <laughs> oh, but she also said like before the she was a year older than me. This is high school. Mm. She's a year older than me. She's like, I'm going to co- like next year I'm going to school, college. Like I don't want to. Uh, I don't really want a boyfriend. So I'm like, all right, but long like long distance. Uh, yeah, but like we can still. Oh, and we went on a date and that's when I thought oh this is not going to go anywhere mm-hmm. eight, almost next month is eight years later wow dang what a story let's go I feel like that's the big takeaway from media day right here <laughs> <laughs> alright that's it thank that's you guys you're good, appreciate no, thank it you. you're yeah. the man thank you guys it's good seeing you yep I see yeah. you good luck yep. man we'd love to have you back <laughs>